Hello, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news that oil prices nudged above $50 a barrel today. But first, the US released its labour productivity metric today, the relationship between output and the amount of worker cost inputs. This data gives a view of the US labour market at odds with the weekend non-farm payrolls report. Today's data shows American labour productivity falling because US employers are hiring faster than output growth and paying more than they're getting in price increases. Unit labour costs rose 4.5% in the past year. This data hardly shows a weak labour market. But it might point to profitability problems for American companies. Economic growth in the first quarter of 2016 for the euro area was 1.7% according to the Eurostat. This final level is a little higher than originally estimated. And cloud accounting software provider Xero has nabbed one of the world's largest consumer banks as a data partner. Wells Fargo is to be part of the Xero ecosystem. Xero is also pushing ahead with two-way communication with banks, and banks will get access to Xero data to allow them to lend based on SME cash flow and other key metrics, rather than just relying on the owner's residential property. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield fell again today to 1.71%. Germany's 10-year bond yield also fell and to a record low amid a surge in demand for the safest fixed income assets. The oil price is a little higher with the US benchmark just over $50 a barrel and the Brent benchmark just over $51 a barrel. That is the first time in nearly a year that the oil price has settled above $50. And the gold price is unchanged at $1,243 an ounce. And finally, the New Zealand dollar will start today against the greenback at 69.7 US cents. Its highest level in over a month is at 93.6 Aussie cents and 61.4 Euro cents. The TWI is now at 72.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.